Let's keep it rolling, though, because we got to talk about the shock. You guys said they were a top two team in the league right there with Vancouver, and they sure made a statement against the Guangzhou Charge when the teams faced off last week. Well, today, they were right back at it. The same old business from the shock. Just some new style points today. Yeah, I will say, when we had so Super and Sinatra on the halftime, they didn't look tired. Let's put it like that. They, <laughs> they looked like it was a little bit of a breeze. And, and But what, that's what expected at this point from the shock. They're, they're so tight, so coordinated, so thick. They've really kind of developed themselves <laughs> into being such a, an extraordinary team throughout. You know, they, they built off 2018, and now they're yeah. really here. And they're Can really I ask real. purely about Super? because there's so many times today where his charges, even a Doomfist mid-punch gets yeah. charged and they both just fall to the ground. His reaction time is at the top, maybe the best I've seen so far. Where does Super rank amongst the other top tanks in the league right now? Is he top three, top five? Is he gunning for that number one spot? So I put a bit of time into talking about this uh, last stage when I was watching him at the end of the stage one finals, and I would have certainly said at that point that he was a top five main tank, and he just keeps getting better. So I think I'd have to go through it a little bit more in detail and think about who else I've got in that top three, like guys like Bumper and Mano are almost hard locked of course. in that position. But I'd say that maybe Super is right behind them as a top three. I think he's been fantastic. And Shock in general gets talked about as like the gods plus Super. But I think Super definitely <laughs> yeah. put some respect on that guy's name. He's good now. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, really. I mean, as well, he follows the lead of, of Eamon. He said it himself. You know, he looks up to him as his inspiration. <laughs> Understandable. But uh, I'll say it again every single time, Chad. Uh, what I will say, actually, is that Guangzhou kind of disappointed me a little bit in terms of their play coming into this match. Because yep. I was expecting them to turn it around at least a little bit. Early on, there were some uh, signs of life, if you will. But as the series progressed, and when we got to Gibraltar here, they just Aww. looked absolutely checked they out. They didn't leave their the spawn. They couldn't leave yeah. their spawn. They, no, they looked they checked out. Spawn camped like like it's an actual ranked game. That was that was just that was painful to watch. I do think though there were a few signs of life still on that roster. I think Shu uh, himself still had a very good performance. Yeah. Yeah. He, he was playing really well on Senora as well as on Diana. He actually hit a lot of sleep darts uh, early on in the series, and even towards the end, he still matched up against Violet very well statistically at least.